As residents of the Hudson Valley, we often get asked to donate our time or our talent or our money for various causes throughout the Hudson Valley. And you may ask yourself over time, where does that time and talent and money go to when you've donated to a fundraiser? Well, we're here today at Astor Services to answer that question. Because thanks to a couple of local celebrities, that money that was raised back in October for a ghost reading story at Bard College for Astor Services is now being implemented in here thanks to the tenacity and the determination and the drive of Hillary Burton and her husband, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Let's go check it out. What we're trying to do is because we bring these kids to the Hudson Valley, which is known for its beautiful outdoor environment, we're really trying to bring those outdoor elements inside and create a camp feeling for these kids. So when they do come here, there is an element of camaraderie and brotherhood and whimsy. So they're not going to bed in dim, dark spaces. They're going to bed with glow stars all over the ceilings. And we really want to create an environment where they can dream bigger. There's four wings. We are going to renovate each of those wings. We're starting with the Paulist wing. We raised a great amount of money at our event in October. We did a- And raising more as we go. Yeah, high five, bud. Uh, we did an event called Ghost Stories with some of our actor buddies, Griffin Dunn and Mary Stewart Masters, and, and it was great because we looked out in the audience and it was all our friends and family and neighbors all contributing to this cause. It's as easy as getting new linens and new rugs and curtains and things that we take for granted that our son has in his bedroom that the kids here don't have. And so we we had a lot of help from the staff here. They sat down with the boys. They asked them, hey, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite sports team? What are your favorite cartoon characters? And so we have tailored each bedroom to the kids' preferences and also kept some pretty generic sports stuff in place. So when those kids matriculate out, incoming kids will also have that whimsical childhood experience staying here. We really want to create an environment where they can dream bigger and where they can envision a life for themselves that is um, is what we try to embody as a community here. Some wholesomeness, some togetherness, community. Uh, we want to make that really accessible for them. I lived in LA for 20 years and I couldn't tell you my neighbor's name and now I know everybody here <laughs> you know, in this whole town and, and uh, it's a nice feeling and it's a, it's, a, it's a great place to raise a family and I think Astor House kind of just fit into all of that for us. It's going to be a brand new place soon and that's exciting. And move on to the next wing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wing, new wing, corporate <laughs> sponsors, new wing. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you.